Gaston County is like a sleeping giant. We may be a little bit behind the times. I see people, you know, that'll work and do a job and be loyal. When you talk about community, it's, it's really that in the sense the world, uh, neighbors, really friendly, uh, and it's growing, which is huge. So you're seeing a lot of people relocate from Charlotte to out here. Uh, a lot of different businesses popping up all over the place. The Low Ray has a lot of history in Gaston County uh, from bringing people from Tennessee, the mountains would come in on the weekend, on the weekends and work all weekend and go back home. We had our mill villages, we had uh, the community, tight-knit communities uh, that they uh, worked together, played together, worshiped together. The worst thing that ever happened to Gaston County was when textiles left. And I don't think Gaston will ever fully recover from that. The only person around here that wasn't in an immigrant was the American Indian, and uh, I feel like they still have the rights to this land. Come in, do you, if they want to work, pay their share of taxes, and I think that's great. Illegals coming in, I'm not really a fan of that. I do want to. I do want to live long enough to see the time when people earn their citizenship. We should be more open to people who are coming to America. Go back to our fundamental values of people who, you know, came here for freedom or came here for different opportunity. This past year was a record set year for Tony's ice cream. But the thing that I tell people, when people come in here now, they're not skimping. They're not, they're not choosing from the bottom of the menu. They're choosing from the top. People have money in their pocket now. There's no question about that. We're forgetting, you know, the middle class who, who are trying to uh, break through that glass ceiling as well and trying to make it in everyday life. If I were a magician and I could only solve one issue, I would rewrite the Constitution with a group of individuals that make up the entire body of the United States today. Trump woke me up. He gave me some hope for the values that we were taught when we were kids. Am I gonna vote in 2020? Of course I am. I'm looking forward to it. I wanna make a difference.